Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna review a place that sells Taiwanese fried chicken. These guys are called Monga Fried Chicken. I think these guys are a pretty big brand in Asia, but they've made their way over to Manchester to try and shake up the fried chicken scene. Being completely honest, guys, I think it's gonna be a little bit of an uphill task considering Manchester has some of the best fried chicken joints in the country. These guys are based in the heart of Fallowfield, so let's make our way there now and let's start this review. Right, here we go guys. Monga fried chicken, let's go inside. Let's see what they're saying. Right guys, so we're inside. I've had a look at the menu. I've got a pretty condensed menu, which I like a lot. I think it's better for the user experience, to be honest, when a place specializes in just a few items. I've gone for a king. That's got some salt and pepper seasoning, which is one of my favorite flavor combinations. So that sounds good. And then we've got something called the cheesy signature, which will have, I've chosen to put some spicy chili sauce in there with some mozzarella cheese. And then just a couple of sides. I've gone for the Monga nuggets and oh, they do bubble tea, which I think this may be the first time I drink bubble tea on the channel. One thing these guys say is that the chicken, the chicken breast, should be at least two centimeters thick. So I'm expecting something crispy, something thick, something juicy. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for it to come out now and then we can go ahead and we can start that review. All right, so the food's here. It's all wrapped up like lovely little presents. I can smell the salt and pepper already. Really excited to try that. Not sure what to go for first. Yeah, let's just go for the king. Let's go for the salt and pepper chicken breast first. Guys, so this is a pretty chunky piece of meat. They say it's two centimeters, which it, it definitely is at least two centimeters. It's piping hot, super crispy as well. Let me get myself a uh, oh, tuck into that. Let me just try and break it apart a little bit. I think what you have here is a chicken breast. I think it's been butterflied. What they do you see is they actually leave the bone in the middle, so be careful of that. That's just so the chicken breast can re retain its structure, its integrity, so when they fry it, it kind of doesn't fall apart. So there will be sort of a bone in the middle there, because like I said, it is a butterflied chicken breast. You guys can see all that steam coming off it, super fresh. Super hot. It's really, really fresh. I like the batter, it retains its uh, crispiness really well. Even though it's a chicken breast, which I don't associate with the most soft meat, this is incredibly soft. The salt and pepper is delicious. Salt and pepper is one of my favorite combinations and often you see places that just kind of give you a tiny sprinkling. There's a good amount of flavor to that. That is delicious. Oh. Moving on now to the cheesy one. This has got, uh, you can either choose tomato sauce or like a chili sauce. I've chosen chili, obviously. <laughs> and it's got some cheese on there, of course, as well. Look at that. Look at this cheese pull. Oh, that looks so good. Let's tuck into it. I know what I'm hoping for. Cheesy, flavorful, delicious. Let's try it. It's good. I like the addition of cheese. I think that's some seaweed powder on there as well. I think that's nice. But when you put like a ton of cheese onto something crispy, the cheese itself is so hot, the steam and the heat actually make the chicken a little bit softer. Whereas I prefer, if you go for the king, it's like super crunchy on the outside. You've got a lovely crispness to it, succulentness on the inside. This has got some succulentness. New word. This, is, this has got good moisture in there for sure, but the cheese does mean that the batter is not as crispy. So make your choice, guys. Do you want some super crispy, delicious chicken or some really, really delicious, cheesy chicken, but with maybe a slightly less crunch? Choice is yours. Oh, the actual bubble tea's arrived as well, so stick around for that. But let me just quickly crack on with the nuggets first. So they give you these like little sticks to pick at the chicken and particularly like the nuggets with. These are legit because I had uh, Taiwanese fried chicken in Malaysia and I've had it in Singapore and you actually do get sticks to poke at the chicken with. So 10 out of 10 for authenticity. I'm actually here alone today, but if cameraman Taz was here, we had this in, oh, we had this in Malaysia, went to like a, a street food market. We had some Taiwanese chicken. I think it was actually, I'll show you. It was like this. So it was like chicken nuggets. We had this and it was so good. We went around, did like a full circle of the market and went back to the first place where we got the Taiwanese chicken. We had it twice. Let's try the chicken nuggets. I love the salt and pepper coating on that. I love the batter. One thing to note, if you're expecting chicken nuggets where it's either like a, a processed piece of chicken or it's like a, like a chicken breast maybe, like a goujon almost, then do not get these because what these are, it's kind of like dark meat, it's like thigh, it's leg, that kind of stuff. 
battered and fried. I think that's delicious. I think it's really nice because that's more flavorful. So I would prefer that. However, if you don't and you want something maybe a little bit more basic, like maybe like a chicken breast or a chunk of meat, get the uh, popcorn chicken. But personally, I think the nuggets are a bit of a winner. These are delicious. They also give you a really generous portion of chips. These I got them um, as a combo deal. So I got the king, I got some chips and I got a bubble tea. The chips are good, they're like proper thick, they're potato-y. I do think with this, what they should give you is like a selection of sauces and the chips would really benefit from like a dipping sauce. They've got salt and pepper on them. They're really nice. They're good chips for sure. As far as takeaways and stuff go, these are very, very good. But I think like a dipping sauce would take them to the next level. Right, so I think this is the first. We've got bubble tea on the channel. This is, they've actually got a few different bubble teas. They've got like a matcha one. This one has got some caramel. It's got some brown sugar. There's some tapioca balls at the bottom there as well. If you haven't had bubble tea before, just try it. Just try it, just try it. There's so many different flavors. There'll be something that you like. It's quite unique in that you have to like drink and chew at the same time. That's quite a unique process. Yeah, so this is the Fire Dragon. It's got some brown sugar, like I said, it's got some caramel, milk, there's foam. Yeah, I think bubble tea is one of those things that a lot of my audience particularly haven't tried, but it is honestly delicious. You could go to somewhere like Gongcha, and if you want something fruity with like passion fruit or light cheese and coconuts, you can get that. If you want like a tea, you could get that. If you want like a coffee, which I love, there's so much variety variety, uh, definitely try it. I may make a video on it. Bonus item guys, so this is something that isn't on the menu if you come in store, but on the delivery apps it is. So these are actually called uh, sweet potato balls. So I don't know what this really is apart from a should have some sweet potato battered and, and fried. I'm gonna try it and just go for it. I don't know what to expect. Got like a really nice little chew to them, like, like a like an almost like an elasticity to them, which I really like. I imagine this is a purple sweet potato. Oh, I can show you the inside, guys. Not like anything I've had before. Like I said, a really good elasticity to them. Try that just because it's different, it's unique, and I'm pretty confident a lot of you would not have anything like this before. Guys, so that is my review. I've literally just come out because I thought I'd give you guys my final thoughts. So yeah, the king, get that, get that. That was delicious. Get the cheesy one if you're a fan of cheese, but just bear in mind due to the nature of the way they cook it, the crispiness is something that you're gonna have to sacrifice a little bit because you've topped it with cheese, right? But if you're a cheesy fan, I think you'll really enjoy that as well. Also, I thought maybe they need dipping sauces and stuff. They actually have them. They do have them. Um, I just, I just missed them. Uh, <laughs> so they do have sauces as well. Bubble tea was good. Overall, guys, it's brand new. Port them because it's different. It's tasty. I've not had anything like this in Manchester before. In a sea of fried chicken places, spicy chicken burgers. You know, you've just got so many in Manchester. These guys really stand out. They're really different. I really enjoy them and I certainly will be going there again. I think next time, I think I'll try the Taker. I think the Taker, I'll try that one next time I come. But yeah, well worth the money. Give these guys a try. Their details are in the description. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you, all the good stuff, comment and all that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm walking down this road, right? I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. I want to show you guys. There's a, um, sorry mate. There's a Danny DeVito thing in the mirror and it's, hey man. And it, I thought it was a real person. Can you guys see that? There's like a Danny DeVito thing and I, I genuinely thought that was a real person watching me. So I got gas there. I thought I had a fan, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> but no, uh, check these guys out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, 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 bye.